uh, about to go to work and I just want to start off the week a little bit happier because I feel like last week's vlog was a little bit of a bummer so everybody have a great day and everything will be awesome and everything is awesome okay I'm gonna no no okay get caught up on your words yay Woo! hey guys uh, still very behind on my word count but 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 I had this huge revelation about my plot yesterday and my story just kind of unfolded in front of me and I'm definitely going off outline which is scary considering how much of a planner I am but I'm very excited because I finally feel like I'm out of my corner and I sprinted today and the words were just coming to me and I want to get caught up by the end of this weekend so fingers crossed <laughs> Welcome to November 16th, everyone. Finally, I have my groove back and it is awesome. Like, I, I finally, the words are finally coming to me. I am completely pantsing it and it feels so amazing. I'm just so happy. I hope it lasts. I still need to get caught up on my words, but I feel like I'm not scared anymore that I'm not gonna make it. So keep writing, keep hoping and keep just pursuing what you want to do because no matter how bleak it seems that spark is waiting for you okay it's waiting for you so keep writing I decided I wanted to be a writer officially when I was in third grade. I read this short story called I Am a Grain of Wheat where this young boy decides he wants to be a writer and nobody believes in him and nobody thinks he's going to be successful and he enters this contest through his local newspaper and the grand prize is $100. Uh, I don't remember what place he ends up winning but he only ends up winning a dollar and his parents say well, that's such a shame. You only won a dollar. But he's so happy because he got something out of it. That story just made me realize that there is something to gain from writing. And there was never a question of if I was going to grow up to be a writer. It was always, I'm going to grow up to be a writer. And then I literally had five years of writer's block and I thought I was done. I thought that my best years were behind me and I was never going to pick up the pen again. And then a combination of life events happened. I met my husband who always encourages me with my writing no matter how strange it is. And I joined a writer's group where I started out you know, very piecemeal chugging along and not feeling it, not feeling it, not feeling it, and then all of a sudden my writing started to click again and I started getting positive feedback from the people in my writers group. And then I watched this video by Christina Horner recapping something she did called NaNoWriMo. All I could think was, oh my god, I have to do this. And the story I wrote in 2015 sucked. It was terrible. It needs so much fixing, editing. It was vomit on the paper, but it was one of the most satisfying experiences I've ever had in my life. It finally felt like I was whole again. Writing isn't an option for me. Writing is who I am. Even though I'm struggling my way through this year, every time I go to write, it just flows out of me and I realize this is my calling in life. And that's so validating. 
And I want you to know that no matter where you go with your writing, whether you feel it's your calling, it's just a hobby, this is your first time writing and it'll probably be your last, no matter where you are with your process, no matter why you're doing NaNoWriMo, I just want you to understand that what you're doing is a grand thing and you should be so proud of it. I'm excited and a little terrified for this final stretch. <laughs> I'm still like 10,000 words behind and I'm really hoping tonight that I will write a lot. But no matter what happens, it's gonna be great. And my dog can sense that I'm in a very intense mood, so let's just reassure him that everything's okay. <laughs> really? I have to go console him now. Keep writing. And this is going to be a really fun, possibly stressful, but amusing last week. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>